An MV-22 Osprey made an historic first landing aboard a Japanese destroyer, J.S. Hugo, of the coast of San Diego, June 14. However, we have worked very closely to ensure that the mechanisms of board, uh, the, the uh, Hugo support the Osprey as well, and we're going to, to demonstrate that now and ensure that, that the interoperability of the ship and the aircraft uh, actually meets our expectations. The landing is part of the Dawn Bleeds exercises conducted in Southern California aimed to maintain and enhance Japan's self-defense and amphibious capabilities. It's ideally suited for disaster situations where you, know, you, you can remain at sea, you're not putting extra pressure ashore uh, with having to put a large force ashore, yet still have a capability that can cover long distances very quickly and either deliver supplies or, as we just noted now, uh, bring injured personnel back onto this platform, back onto these ships, and provide that kind of, uh, that kind of support to them. The big advantage to the uh, Osprey is its range, uh, its speed, and its lift capability. We have used this aircraft uh, for many hours in operations all over the world to include our operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, and it has a very proven safety record uh, that is comparable to any aircraft out there. It's an easier aircraft to fly. It, I enjoy it. It's a lot more fun. It, it, it just makes it really easy uh, working with the systems. Reporting for Navy Public Affairs Support Element West, I'm Petty Officer Claire Farron.